Okay, two cars approaching an intersection at right angle to each other. Uh, if an uh, inelastic collision occurs at the intersection, the, the, determine the x component of the final momentum. X component of the final momentum we are called car car one and car two, etc. What does it mean? You have one car that goes this way, another car that goes that way. What will happen when they collide? When they collide, they say it is inelastic collisions. Mm, that means that they will continue together somewhere around this along this line. But in inelastic collision, an inelastic collision <laughs> in every kind of collision, momentum is always conserved. That means x component of the momentum is conserved and y component of momentum is conserved. Prior to an impact, there is only this component of, of the in the x direction and this component in the y direction. And in, here they need to determine the x component the final momentum of the combined vehicles. What does it mean? Before the impact, momentum will maintain, will be conserved in the x direction and in y direction. Therefore, in x direction, momentum will be, let's say, pay p p x. It's e it's equal to p x back or prior prior to the impact. This is prior to the impact. This is after the impact. And prior to the impact, that this is this those two things uh, multiplied. Y one that is equal one one seven times thirty eight kilograms times twenty two point fifty three meters per second, and you will get what two six four four. And you will get two six four four something kilograms time meter per second. That is the answer to this question. You have the rhythm rhythm here. That is the answer for this question in this assignment. If there were determined the y component of the final momentum, you would just calculate these two. And that's all there is to it. Nothing more.